Okay, so for goal two, you are going to be faced with a lot of different things going on at the same time. Now, um, you have two different ways that you could have learned this. The first way is doing it using various sigma methods, using various things like that. And the other way is using your calculator to find different computations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show both ways of doing the various problems. If you want to skip ahead to see which way is appropriate for you, that is perfect perfectly acceptable. Now the first question that we're going to look at doesn't actually require any formulas at all. It's question number five from the revision. In fact, we don't even need the calculator. It says the Rack Conservation Society wants to identify the types of birds that come out at night. To do this, they set up a net near a park and catch the birds at nightfall. On one night, they catch 250 total birds from 30 different types identify the population. Now the population is the entire group that you are looking for. So is it 30 different types of birds? Is it all the birds that fly at night in rack or is it all of the birds in rack? Well in this case we want to identify the type of birds that come out at night. So we're going to be looking at B for our population. Then it says does the data represent a discrete or a continuous variable. In this case, because it is a living thing, you cannot break the living thing into smaller portions. So this would be a discrete variable. And that would be how you answer question number five.